Hi, this is Cool Hand Mike. I want to talk in this video about firmware and how to set it up. So BizHawk is a multi-system emulator. And what that means is that it can run NES, SNES, Genesis, PlayStation, basically multiple systems. However, many of these systems require BIOS files. BIOS files are things that help set up the hardware and in order to set them up, you need to somehow get the files. And if you go to config and firmware, it will pop up with a window here that can show you what BIOS you may need. Like for instance, if you want to run uh, like Saturn, you're gonna need to find the Saturn BIOS. If you want to import them, you need to go to the folder. I suggest just going open firmware folder here on this button. And that will open up a window here. So right now I don't have any BIOS files in here, but if I move them in there, You can see that what happens is if you do scan, all of these uh, red exclamation marks will go away for the files that you have, and there'll be a green check mark. So, what happens is that if you don't have the BIOS files, you won't be able to run the ROMs for that system. Also keep in mind that it's dependent on region for a lot of systems as well. J, Japanese, U, like, or E, like European, U is typically like a American. Um, so if you have them in there, you'll be able to basically run the files. If you go to, let me just close this here. If you go to file, you can open a ROM and you can run the file. It's fairly simple with that. So now that I showed you how to put them in there, let me show you what happens when you don't have them in there. Let's say I just remove these files here temporarily. So I'll just replace them. So now there's none in here. So if I drag and drop, let's say I'm gonna run, run a, Symphony of the Night. And you'll see that doesn't run right. In fact, what will happen is that it just closes for Saturn. I just reopened it. Now, if you, I were to run a PlayStation game, it actually gives me the right error here. And you can read it. You are missing the needed firmware files to load this ROM. PSX U. So if I were to go again to config firmware, the file that you're going to want to look for, if you were to want to look for the PSX U, is you want to find PlayStation. And it would be this file. This is the one you'd need to get. So I'm going to go ahead and put those files back in. Then I'm going to drag and drop that Q file back in here. And you can see the game starting to run. It was a real quick tutorial. That's basically all you need to know about firmware is again, just go to config firmwares, and then you can see what you what you would need. And then once you have it in there and you see this green check mark, you should be able to run uh, whatever game you want for that um, for that region and system. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.